Okay, I guess this is where we're starting our uh, vlog today. Hello. We're at the <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> in the uh, the concierge lounge here, they've got coffee and uh, some cookies. It's sort of the middle of the day. It's well, not middle of the day. It's 11 a.m. They got cookies, strawberries. They got hot coffee, uh, and they've got more importantly, that's uncrustables. Awesome. Oh my gosh! Look at these guys' coffee machines over here. Yeah, I don't even know how to work them. That's how fancy <laughs> they are. <laughs> Very cool. And then of course, the beautiful view of Magic Kingdom over there. Jessica is obsessed with these little Mickey head it's sugars. So <laughs> some syrups. Got some juice over there too. Just snacks. Oh, and they've even got over here some vegetables, hummus. Oh, mimosas. Oh, goodness gracious. Heading to the monorail. We got our behemoth. <laughs> it actually folds up pretty small and there's rhyme or reason, I promise, but yeah. <laughs> On the monorail, we're going around. This is the Grand Floridian. But the nice thing was, security-wise, we had to carry our bags through security, but they didn't have to search every single one. I guess they have a special tool now. We're going to keep going, baby. But it, was, it made our life way easier having everything in bags. So we just boom, 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 walk through the machine, and then that was that. That was awesome. So we're laughing because we are getting off at the TTC to get to the Epcot monorail right now. And, uh, oh nice, it's already open. Anyway, and we're laughing because we literally, there's the Polynesian right there, right there. We could have just walked here. And it was a lot of delays on the monorail, so but we were we on were, it for like 25 minutes, we which is not We the monorail because, duh. And so, uh, I just thought, yeah, that was pretty funny. We, we could should have walked have just so walked. much faster, but <laughs> that's right. It was our first ride, first ride That's right, it was very enjoyable, and now Felicity's asleep, which is great. And we've already gone through security getting on the monorail, which is nice. So we're like good to go. Once we get to Epcot, we can stroll on in. We do need to stop at guest services though, because we wanted to ask, it's a long story, but we've been annual pass holders for a few years and their whole annual pass thing right now is back and forth on if they're available. But we heard that maybe if your child ages into it, that she could maybe, we could take her ticket and turn it into an annual pass, like pay the difference. So we're gonna ask, we figure it doesn't hurt to ask. So yeah. There's the new Connections Cafe. We haven't even been inside there yet. It's so Starbies. exciting. Yeah, a little Starbucks. I could actually use some more coffee. Pretty much always that's the case. But We're gonna do coffee. I'm gonna have to switch to iced. It is. It's, it's a little toasty. That vibe. <laughs> it's that vibe. And then there's the Creation Shop. And right behind this wall is the giant Epcot Dirt Pit. Which we showed you earlier. My favorite. Me? Figment. And you. <laughs> We're going to uh, what Tyler just dubbed the original Three Bridges restroom. Because there's a Three Bridges place. It doesn't matter. You either get it or you don't, but there's like a million bridges to get back over here. That's its perfect name. But we're going to use the restroom. I think the baby care center's over here. Get little Snow White here. Also, food a diaper and wine change. starts tomorrow. Food and wine used to be like a three-day festival, and now it's basically just all year And it was decidedly it's in the just, fall, and it literally starts it was tomorrow. Like September, October. Now it's literally July through November. So, <laughs> I'm not mad about it. No, no, no. You got a I love trying all of them. The That's true. This is so cool. We are so, <laughs> my shirt looks already like stretched out. Uh, we are so excited to be here. That's all. Epcot is truly, I we mean, used to, whenever, probably okay, so our favorite park for like, like grown ups, obviously. When we were younger and like, you know, we were first coming here, just to, when we were dating, I feel like we always started our day in Epcot. Like we would fly in at the, on the red eye and then be at Epcot. Like that was the day mm -hmm. we, I don't know why, but I feel like so Epcot has all the happy, like, start a vacation class. I could I could understand that totally. We are excited. We're gonna go ride the Donald Duck ride first. All right, headed in. Let's get this party started. So the line for margaritas outside was super long. Like it was all the way like wrapped around to the front of the uh, pavilion. But here at the actual La Cava del Tequila, uh, it's a much, much shorter line. All right, Mirabelle is about to ride uh, the Donald Duck ride. 
We should let it be known. We know it's called the Grand Fiesta Tour, but it's easier for a four-year-old to just say the Donald Duck ride. Okay. <laughs> oh boy. That was fun. Mirabelle and I were talking about how there's cracks, just like we're at Mirabelle's Casita in Encanto. That was okay. awesome. There's Donald. You doing I'm a meet and greet over there? That is blasphemy. But I'm gonna say it anyway. I think La Cava del Tequila is not as good as it used to be. Oh, 100%. I feel like they, so <laughs> I was talking to Jackie about this. I think they're almost a victim of their own success because now they're so popular that they, I feel like they used to actually like make it in front of you, like whatever, but now they've got these big old jugs a of like pre-made stuff. Yeah. Um, and they, because they got, they, they got so busy, they got so big, I, I don't know, I, that's just my opinion. I'm still going to get a margarita, <laughs> but I don't know. What do, you, what do you think? I would agree. That's why I got like a colada. When I was here pregnant, I got a virgin colada. Yeah. Delicious. TBH, this kind of tastes like a virgin colada. I'm not mad about it because <laughs> it's just so good. So if um, you're gonna go, honestly, and you just want something super refreshing, go in and get that because yeah. it's it's blended, it's delicious. I got uh, the wild one is what it was called, um, but it's the one I don't think I've tried before. It's pretty good, it's pretty good, it's pretty standard, it's good. <laughs> I'm gonna keep drinking. Oh yeah, baby. America, spread your golden wings. Uh, you got the brisket, right? Yep. And then I got the barbecue burger with an onion ring on top of it and a little American flag because America. And uh, then I got the baked beans. And then I got the mac and cheese. I tried to share with Gigi. She's not having it. Luckily, I brought some snacks for her. It's really good. I've already eaten half of it, like I said. All right. How was it? The brisket sandwich. So unbelievably good. You said you really so, liked the uh, onion ring too, right? That was the best onion ring I've ever had in my life. Uh, ever. My, uh, and it was one singular onion ring. Yeah. I was like, oh, I made a mistake. I should have got. Could you get a, it a side of them? Yeah. The uh, the bacon uh, and the, or the uh, the baked beans mm -hmm. were really really good. And then I liked all four of the different sauces they had too. They were all good, but I went with the sweetest. The sweeter one, one yeah. yeah. This little girl got a bubble wand, and it was all she wanted for weeks. For weeks now, she said, "When we get to Disney, I want a bubble wand." So she finally got her bubble wand, and life is so good. <laughs> We're gonna go into Mitsukoshi. Oh, yeah. All right, turn it off, my love. You know how? Good. I just remembered. My two favorite candies ever are both sold here. He is very excited. Once he realized, I just he was remember like, that. Oh my gosh. Because <laughs> I was like, we need to get that. Oh, that's here. That's here. That's here. Let's go. Candy acquired. So these are gonna be all kinds of melted, but. Dark chocolate Kit Kats. Got it. Better eat them really fast. Yeah. Before we leave the park, the whole bag has to be gone. <laughs> I choose Jessica's. Favorite. I'm trying a different flavor. I always get grape because it's the best. Speaking of which, the flavor that I always get of uh, these is the pink one, whatever it is, strawberry or whatever. Those are mo rice uh, cakes, like mochi. They, uh, they were out of that. So they, I got purple ones that are blue. I guess they're blueberry flavored. So we're going to try a new flavor. They're so soft. They're so good. Can't wait. I can't wait. I mean, those I don't care about. The high chews and the chocolate, yes. So much. Excited to do the Beauty and the Beast sing along. So I was under the impression, and I was under this impression because this is what they said, <laughs> that during the day, all the new Harmonia stuff would be uh, like a fountain. So like in the middle of World Showcase, that would all be like a fountain and like it'd be really pretty. Uh, but they are not doing that apparently, or at least they haven't started it yet. I don't know, maybe at some point they will. But like, so they've got these huge barges out there and they're really cool for the show. The show itself is awesome. But uh, it's just interesting because I figured during the day they would just have the water going. So it's just like a fountain in the middle, but it's not like Jessica said, she's like, it's very universal looking. <laughs> I'm like, it, it is. And I don't know how else to explain it other than that. It just, I mean, you know, we, like, just, we love universal, but there, there's a difference. Yeah. In just to have the big old barges out there, it's 
It's like a universal thing, not a Disney thing. I think they had some of this. We're taking an AC break the last time, but this is adorable. These like Tervis tumblers. It's for flower and garden, which again, I'm like, wait, what? But whatever. It's, it's a festival all year round and who really cares what, but these are really, really cute. Okay, but these are really cute and would be useful because they're an actual watering can. That is adorable. Okay, half the stuff is Flower and Garden Festival merch yeah. and food and wine starts tomorrow. I'm like, they just, they're just, this just changes this from Epcot to Festival World. Like, I, I'm uh, okay with it though, but it oh, is I'm very totally confusing. Okay. Don't take my tone <laughs> as being out of love again. I love it. Second of all, what is this? And I need it. Can we buy it? I want it. What is it? I don't know. I literally thought it was Monopoly, but Disney World, it's no, it's its just, own game. Yeah. <gasps> okay, instead of buying it here, can Ages we see if it's on eight, the app? Because I don't want to pack this home. home. Yeah. It's got like this whole thing, like it builds up. Oh, you got to look at the contemporary with the monorail going by. Wow. So we're just seeing now where it says Vault Collection on all of the four uh, corners over there. There's one of Roy, and then over here they've got Vault with the Epcot map. And there's another Roy. So the, all of this stuff is the Vault Collection, which is so much uh, uh, just like classic Walt Disney World stuff. Remember this kind of keychain, you guys, where you look through it? Phone? Let's try it. Oh, that would be incredible. Oh, it did? No, no way. way. <laughs> okay, impressive. Okay, That's love that. Cool. And then they have some older mugs over here. These like retro mugs. I love that. And they have this puzzle here of the old uh, map and stuff like that. Oh, it's so cool. Okay, I love all the Orange Bird stuff. Adorable. This is like a little... Oh my gosh, okay, wait, that's really cute. A little, uh, why can't I think of the name? You know what I mean? Penny bank, piggy bank, wow. I feel like the Florida heat and humidity is not kind to these orange jellies. Okay, this rain jacket is really cool. I already have a cats and dogs one from here from a few years ago that I use every time, but I'm loving this. Oh my gosh, okay. They know what we want. Are you kidding me? First of all, I wear Crocs every day in our backyard. Second of all, all these vintage, I think these are part of like their vault collection and they are so cool. I don't know if these are, but they're really neat. Look where we're headed. Let's go explore, the big blue world. Hey, Mr. Ray, we can't explore the whole world. Jellyfish! off Nemo and we're doing there's all this like little playground of different things good job matching up okay Ooh, that one's your favorite color says, don't mix us up with other fish So we're in the Land Pavilion, and at uh, Sunshine Seasons, we w wanted to get a little snack for Zizi, and so uh, I grabbed a High Life, and every time you, you get a beer uh, at Sunshine, Sunshine Seasons, and I feel like most places, they, they have you open it, which is fine, because I'm obviously going to drink it now anyway, but I always thought it was odd that they're like, you have to open your beer before you can walk away from the counter, and so I open it, and I'm like, well, what's the worst that could possibly happen? You go, you go, you take your beer home and drink it at home? or outside of the park or whatever, but I'm like, who's going here? <laughs> They're like, no, I really, I just really enjoy paying $10 per beer. So I come here, I get it, and then I bring it home. It's just way better that way than buying a six pack at a store. <laughs> like, what's the mentality behind having to drink it here, having to open it, instead of just being like, you know, who's spending more money than they have to to come by it here and take it home?
All right, we made it to Coronado Springs and we're headed over to the tower to uh, have dinner at Toledo. <laughs> kinds of things from up here. The Dahlia Lounge, you can go outside. There's the Epcot Ball. He was just telling us there is Hollywood Studios and Galaxy's Edge. What else? Oh, there's Blizzard Beach there. Yeah, ah. And then there's Everest and the Floating Rocks of Pandora over there. So this is a hidden gem, gem It's sort of like Topolino's Terrace. Over yeah. At, uh, the Riviera, uh, but uh, there's like no one here. Yeah, it's it, like the cast member was saying, he was like, it's totally a hidden there's gem. There's two like, sides of it. There's the Dolly Lounge, and then there's on the other side, there's the actual uh, restaurant, the Toledo restaurant. So, uh, yeah, so we're waiting in the lounge and then that's the big for our table. Right this is very cool. This is very cool. All right, we made it. It wasn't pretty, but we made it. <laughs> it you know what, guys? Coronado Springs is one of those big resorts where there's a lot of stops for the bus, and we just got off at a stop. We were like, "This looks good." Because we, we could to see the we could see the tower. We didn't think it was too far. Yeah, we. It was, well, when you're hot, you're tired, you're hungry and thirsty. It was it was a long one, but we got here. And I'm glad because we I'm really glad we, we actually like. We almost canceled this reservation yeah. and I'm glad we did. I'm glad we finally came over because this restaurant is beautiful. Yeah, I mean, it really is cool. And then obviously we saw the stuff over there. We could see from the, the uh, upper floor. So. Well, and they said that the ceiling here changes colors throughout your meal. Yeah. So just it's beautiful. a really pretty restaurant. I can't believe more people are not talking about this. This looks like the Riviera one. And Topolino's Terrace is pretty much consistently sold out. So this is a sort of hidden gem. So for those that don't know, the uh, Grand Estino Tower is based off of basically the relationship between Walt Disney and the uh, surrealist artist Salvador Dali. So the, a lot of the style here is all based off of like Dali and that kind of stuff. Uh, so it's like that sort of surrealist like style and all that kind of thing. Uh, but then uh, one of the other cool things, I'll, I'll put some footage over this, the elevators here work the opposite of most elevators. So you actually, on the ground floor, you tap, or I guess whatever floor you're on, you tap whatever floor you want to go to, and then it tells you which elevator to go to. So instead of just picking up or down and then waiting for an elevator, then you select the floor on the elevator. And there is no way to... Yeah, once you're on, there's no button. There is no button. So on you the literally elevator. just decide before you even get on the elevator, you press where you want to go, and then it tells you which elevator to get on. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Side note, we missed the first two because the door shut so fast. Very I'm not fast. even joking. We literally ran and we could not get to it. <laughs> so the third one we finally got. <laughs> All right, so we got the appetizer here. We got chorizo. Uh, it came with like sourdough bread there as well. Not very much sourdough bread, but it did come with sourdough it bread. About to melt from the... Ooh, I love chorizo. That is quite good. I like that a lot. Do you like it? Uh, yeah. It's really good. Uh, how was your drink? One of the best drinks I've ever It's so sweet. What was it called? A good... Oh no. Tequila Daisy. It's like 18 things in it, you know. It is very sweet, but not so overly sweet, and it's so refreshing because, like I said, I'm like, we are just hot. Like, getting yeah. that. It's very refreshing, but still sweet. Like, so far, so good. I would recommend. I would get again. The curtains are magically opening. This girl has her uncrustable, and she's just happy as to be. We're kind of over here in a corner, which yeah, is I perfect. Think they put it because. <laughs> <laughs> she is just walking around, got her, her Uncrustable that we brought with us to the restaurant. <laughs> Which, to be fair, the things they had for children were like steak. Let me read uh, you guys a sampling of the children. No, I'll read you the entirety. Okay, the let's do it. Menu. And we do have an extremely picky kid. We have an extremely but picky still, kid. But. Grilled steak. Sustainable fish. Braised meatballs. <laughs> sauteed shrimp. And grilled chicken rice. That's it. No grilled cheese, no mac and cheese, no well, chicken you nuggets. Like, you have all that and then have an uncrustable. Because we all know, I mean, they have yeah. those all over Disney. So we literally, I looked at the menu ahead of time. Like, yeah. So. I think a lot of restaurants should offer uh, peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Just I mean, as a I general don't. rule. As a general rule. <laughs> we do have a very picky kid, though. So in fairness, but still, I'm like... One they would like. Alrighty, we've got our main course. I got the hanger steak with potatoes and uh, peppers and uh, green salsa. And then you got the uh, vegetarian dish, right? It was uh, cauliflower. Yeah. And Ooh, then... Was that thunder? I think it was. 
I'll take a thunderstorm over inside. Right? It's fun. Uh, yeah, it came with like cilantro, not aioli. Oh man. Oh, cilantro cream. I'm like, what? Ooh. I'm gonna want more of that. But and then, yeah, cauliflower. What is that? Arugula. Yeah. Is that arugula? Carrot. I love cauliflower so much. Because, yeah, so I'm actually looks, it looks very good. Well, because my eyes were literally getting heavier as we sat here, we have got some coffee here and some dessert, the Cafe Con Leche. Uh, our waitress just brought her dessert as a surprise. <laughs> is it yummy? Yeah. I know that the quality is not great right now, but uh, this dessert, it's called the Cafe Con Leche. One of the greatest desserts I've ever had. This has been one of the greatest meals we've had start to finish. I have no notes. Yeah. I mean it's just been it's been awesome. This dessert would recommend as well. Everything I've gotten I would get again and I don't always say that. I feel like this is you would eat the entire meal over. Yeah. Well, we were hoping to uh, go back to our hotel and get the pool, but uh, you can see it's storming. You can see that over there, that right there. Hold on, see if my finger. Where is it? Okay, that right there is the Contemporary and Bay Lake Tower. That right there is Cinderella Castle. Or wait, that's Cinderella Castle. That's the spires of uh, uh, Grand Floridian right there. Anyway, the whole point of the story is uh, it's currently being battered by rain, so I'm guessing we're not going to be able to get in the pool tonight. <laughs> It's interesting to see it from far away, though. You can see where the rain ends right there. So it's pretty cool to be up this high to see the rain and how it's uh, progressing towards us. Ooh, there's more thunder, too. so heavy. <laughs> it's so fun. Jeez. <laughs> One is asleep. Shiji is still awake, but she's... Shiji and I were telling each other stories, and yeah. they were riveting. <laughs> <laughs> um, but anyway, so uh, I don't think we've vlogged since dinner. I'm trying to think of when we... Dinner was fantastic. We I, met a couple lovely subscribers, and it was at, awesome. At so, dinner, and then in the lobby hi. of the... Uh, yeah, two Carnot separate Springs. instances. It was lovely. Also, yes. that hotel was so pretty. The new oh tower. I, well, I should say that. We didn't... Well, no, we did walk through a lot of the grounds. We talked about yeah. that, but... Yeah, but it was beautiful. It was beautiful. Absolutely. Because, yeah, cause we hadn't even been in the lobby of the Grand Estino Tower. It was beautiful. Yeah, so that uh, was cool. We uh, Ubered, or, well, Lyft. No, no. Ubered, yeah, we Ubered. Uber car seat. Back, yeah. Did. Uber car seat. If you're a parent with kids that need car seats. In Orlando. Minivans are great. Like, literally, am I in an IE? Like mini Mouse Red with fans, white polka dots. Yeah. yeah. Mini vans are available through Lyft, but at least at the time we were trying to get one because they always have two car seats in there, guaranteed. Uh, yeah, there weren't any in our areas. So we were like, all right. Anyway. Yeah. We were right next to her. She's still like. But uh, anyway, that was such a nice ride home. Yes, yeah. Like and then we got home and or back to the resort and just got a little bit of kind of unpacked a little bit for the day. Plugged and in all our fans, getting go. set up for tomorrow, refilling things, yeah. like getting fresh outfits in yeah. the bag, getting it all packed up tonight. So we don't end. She's just very excited to see the castle tomorrow. I am too. Yeah. So anyway, so you're going to go get a bubble bath. I'm going to write a little bit and then go to bed. Sounds awesome. So, I'm also trying to like upload a video, download <laughs> another one to get. Always we're something. Trying to right? work while we're, yeah, it's, it's interesting, but we'll get it done. Yep. Anyway. All right. Well, then we will see you guys tomorrow for a Magic Kingdom Day. Get so pumped. Excited.